hi guys we have a mini art haul video i picked up a couple things because um well i've been being very good for a very long time and i really needed new supplies anybody believe me <laughs> i actually have wanted um a couple of these things for a while and then these actually are kind of necessary i've been waiting for the right palette to come along that would hold all my Daniel Smith colors because I want all my Daniel Smith colors in one of these and then I need to redo my Mission Gold palette again. It's time that my Mission Gold palette is thrashed once again so we're going to have another video and put, transfer my Mission Gold paints into one of these palettes as well. So I thought we would start with um, let's start with the palettes because these are the Magello Fusion Airtight Leak Proof Watercolor Palettes. That each one holds 33 colors. And I thought that would be perfect for what I want. Urgh. So let's ooh, pull it out of the box. Oh, that's nice. And I got two. Um, I'll probably put a sticker or something on the top of the, you know, each one denoting what they are. So I got two of these. Oh, these are big too. Nice. They're bigger in real life though. They looked at on the ad on Amazon. And then how, I mean, these are big. Dang. Got a little scuff mark. I like that little element there. That's cool. And there's the back, just white. Made in Korea. Got a little... Magello right there and they lock which I really think is crucial for me because I will take this big palette with me when I go to my daughter's to babysit or whatever and use it to paint with <gasps> oh look at how dreamy ginormous this is oh this is cool all right I'm gonna enjoy making these palettes <laughs> oh look at the big wells Sorry about my finger. That's paint. I've been using painting with gouache. Okay, so notice. Uh, open and close part. That'd be this. Store a palette in an upright position with the direction of the arrow when you put your palette in your bag. Thusly. So they want you to do it with the closure at the top. Why? And there's a little rubber seal all the way around. That's nice. And this sucker pops out. So you have ton. This is what grabbed my attention was that you have tons of mixing space. Does this come out too? Oh, oh, look at that. Holy buckets. All right. So the whole thing comes apart. <laughs> That's cool. So if you really did need on your table or something a big mixing space you could take your paints out and set them to the side and have tons of mixing space that's neat i'm not sure they meant it for that use but also maybe if you don't like your your pans pointing this way you could spin this around maybe and drop it in this way yeah it pops in either either direction which is fantastic um if you need if you need it too and that that just popped right out too nice let's see if i can get it popped back out again <laughs> not with just my fingernails but this is big it's got great big wells i am very pleased um i'll mess around with um getting that out of there in a bit but yeah you could have these pointing in either direction depending on how you like to work if you need your mixing palette to be this way you know with your just depending on how you work oh that's cool all right digging it digging it cool oh these are nice i'm very pleased 
they were not that um pricey either i don't think were they he i better i better check before i tell you um yeah these were super inexpensive they were 15 bucks i mean marked down from 15.98 you know amazon they're gonna throw that price around a little bit but look at these oh and i'm digging the blue like a lot they're heavy well they're not too heavy once they get painted in them though they're gonna be weighty oh i'm so excited this could be a fun bit videos you guys because one of these is going to be for all of my daniel smith colors and one is going to be for all of my um what do you call it all of my m graham colors okay so speaking of daniel smith i got i've been hemming and hawing and hemming and hawing about these colors should i get them shouldn't i and instead of getting the jane's other set i went i decided to go with the um the nice essential set to start with just because i know i like daniel smith colors but i don't know how much i like them and then i've been watching people um use potter's pink for years and um get it don't get it it's not essential it is essential i, I went ahead and got the daniel smith potter's pink because I want it. I want to experiment with it. I want to play with it. I want to try it. Um, this set, let's scoot these out of the way. We'll go over our paints first and then we'll play with the weird stuff that I got. Um, is Jane Hines, All That Shimmers set. It's got six tubes of paints. Oh. And a Daniel Smith sticker. Nice. Oh, I can put that on my palette. <gasps> Fun times. Look at me. Genius. Ingenious. <laughs> okay. A little card in here. Paint on me. I'm the perfect painting surface for your Jane's Shimmer Colors. To learn more, visit... Oh, this is a little bit of black watercolor ground paper. Oh, that's intriguing. Th these I found even more intriguing. Iridescent copper, iridescent, these are all iridescents. Um, topaz, electric blue, pearlescent white, iridescent Aztec gold, and iridescent ruby. I thought these, along with the Potter's Pink and the Essentials set, would be a nice addition to the ones I already have. Um, I also have this one, which is fairly new, which is Bronzite Genuine. So I'm trying out the Daniel Smith paints in earnest. <gasps> Another sticker! Na, na, na. And then they didn't give us a little paint on me surface for this one. That's okay. So in here we have our Hansa Yellow and our Hansa Yellow Light New Gamboge. I love Gamboge. And then we have our... Quinacridone Rose, which I know I love in other brands, but we'll try it in this one. And then Pyro Scarlet. So essentially a uh, cool and warm, cool and warm, cool and warm, right? For And I thought that'd be great for mixing. We've got Thalo Blue and French Ultramarine. So these are all my new colors to play with and put in our new palette. Um, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is a nice selection of colors. Each palette, I think, holds 32 colors, 33 colors. So it's right. It's a 33 well palette, leak proof. We will see about that. Cause I will take these palettes with me, camping, fishing, hunting, whatever, hiking. Not hunting. I'm not a hunter. I don't know why I said that. Ex-husband hunted up in the woods on adventures I can't wait to get back to Washington we're gonna have so many adventures you guys we're gonna go up to Leavenworth together we're gonna hike the trails we're gonna paint outside oh I'm so excited I'm popping these back in here because we're gonna do our video together putting them in the palettes that'll be a separate video from this one this is just a little look I got I got more stuff <laughs> Honestly, I needed it for my soul. I haven't 
this is the only new thing I've bought myself in a while and I really really wanted it and then I got excited and I bought those now these are for this I saw a really good review on this intrigues me but this is just a little sealed palette for gouache we're gonna make a little gouache palette for our plain air painting and I thought this was ingenious I've seen um, a bunch of artists that are gouache painters on the YouTube well not a bunch a couple um, using these little palettes and I, I thought that's perfect I've been wanting to take my gouache out and about with me and this has a little a little lock on it so it pops in place you don't have to worry about it opening in your pack I thought that was great so we're gonna make a little gouache palette in a video let's scoot our paints out of the way and then this is I thought this was bigger it looked a lot bigger but I thought this would be a great addition to like to just throw in my purse my small bag when I want to go out and about it comes with a Let's grab a let's grab a let's grab a book so you can grab your your paint book and one of my watercolor Wednesday one or my world watercolor month ones and you clip that there and this comes with a little fancy I thought these were like um what is this clearly it comes with a sticker Oh, little stickies. I don't know that I need those. Um, and I thought it was cute. It's got kitty cats, little sleeping kitty cats all over it. Isn't that adorable? And these come uh, Amazon for, I think it was $11 for this little kit. Let me see if I can go back and take a look-see at what this cost. Na, na, na. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's down there. This little dude. Um, I've had this for a minute because few details. Let's see if it's on here. No. It is not. I want to say this was $10 for this little kit. Oh, there it is. Mini, the portable mini tin box. 12, well, empty. This is, this is 12 little, little teensy wells. And it pops right in. But maybe I do want the stickies. But... It doesn't want to like immediately fall out so that's good <coughs> so you pop that in there and it magnets to that and then it comes with a little clip on this is $15.99 everything's $15.99 apparently it comes with a little water cup you can put your water solvent or whatever you need to use in there and also clip this on your book and there you go you're ready to paint you know flip your little tin open well maybe not flip it pop your little tin open and you can paint this with some enamel paint so you have a little mixing area i just thought this was the coolest little thing you know if you want to grab a little pocket set and bring it out with you oh i need more of these clips this is ingenious so we're going to fill this little baby up too with favorite colors from all the brands. So that's that guy. I'll put our little stickers, sticky things over here in case I need them later. Put those in the box. And then this is something we can put these in and hook them to. Just a little. I thought this was so cool for traveling around and tuck it in your backpack. Um, is it going to let go? It, oh, this guy is, is on there. Let's grab some scissors. Snip it. Okay. So, now we 
come out? Why is it not coming? Oh, there's a little hole right there for the snappy snap. Stuck. It got hung up. There we go. Ugh, the struggle is real. <laughs> This I thought was super cute. Um, there's a professional artist that did a review of this on Amazon and he said that he um, cut a little bit of like cards, like firm cardstock to tuck in here to make it, you know, firmer. A little trifold um, bit of hard stock. That's a good idea um, to bring with you. It's got two little pockets here. Comes a cute little you know, little ideas for how, how you can use your stuff. A little pocket here for cards. It comes with postcards. A little watercolor postcard set. Um, 12 pocket postcards. I don't know if the, it looks like watercolor paper. It, I mean, we can find out. 3 by 3 Travel Jot Block Postcard Refill. Oh, so you could probably get little refills if you wanted to. Or you could just honestly cut some watercolor paper up, which is what I'm going to do. Cut some small watercolor papers up or tuck, tuck one of your little watercolor pads in here that you have. I mean, like this little guy would maybe fit in here. Yeah. I made this little dude. Oh, and he fits in there perfectly. Oh, how cool is that? Doot, doot, and then it snaps but he put in um oh, it's a little tight snappy snap there we go how nice is that it's kind of felt a little bit of felt work and I thought this was just the cutest thing and it comes with a little palette which of course is cheap and cheesy and not meant to be artist grade but I'm gonna pop these out and save them for my grandkids little colors for them to play with and then I can pop in whatever little palette situation I want to have right we could tuck these on the on the back on the outside and it comes with cute little cute little paint brushes oh they're so cute Sorry, I got squeaky. <laughs> uh, it says a number 10 and a number 2, but I'm thinking, you know, more a 0 and a maybe 4, around 4. These are not the best, but they're, they're fun for taking out and about with you, right? And they come to a beautiful point. They got decent snap, fun, fun. Or you can put your own brushes in here. If you have little travel brushes, you could tuck them in here. What is this? A little pencil and a little pen. Oh, it's a little cheesy but cute. So you could put your own pens in here if you don't want to put that in there. Let's see if this guy's going to fit in here. No, oh, it's too tight. It's too tight, you guys. Oh. So maybe not the big guy. If you have a smaller one, I have tons of these pens. Oh, the jelly roll fit in there? Ooh, a jelly roll fits in there. That'd be handy for highlights. And you could just stick one of your drawing pencils in here. I just thought this was the coolest idea. And I can put my own watercolors in here if I want to. And take this with me just like so it's not waterproof or anything and the paint you don't really have a mixing well maybe I don't like how that slides in and out that'll irritate me so this guy will fit in here will my other guy fit in here let's test some stuff out how stretchy are you you're not that stretchy but you could just set this in here and when you fold it I got too much stuff. He's too bulky. That's why he's thin. He's he's sleek and graceful. So yeah, will it fold with this little chunky monkey in here? It will. Oh, yay! 
So you could do your little, your little tins. Tuck this guy in here. Oh, this is fun. I'm going to have fun with this. Well, let me know what you guys think of this little whole little thing. I don't really need that. Um, the idea of it. Taking little watercolor postcards. Set, put those in there. <coughs> you could tuck your own pencils in here. Slide right in. Maybe a couple watercolor pencils. <gasps> That's a good idea. See? Every little thing you need to paint on the fly. That's so neat. And it snaps and you can either carry it open like this or bring it to the coffee shop or out shopping. It looks cute. What do you guys think? All right, so maybe it was a silly purchase, but I thought it was a great idea. And I might even go ahead and pop those out and put some paint in these. And then you can have this tucked in there. You could have these with all your other colors. You could bring a bunch of colors with you. And then a whole slew of cards. How many are in here? One, two, it was 12, right? So this is 12 watercolor cards on a backer board. I don't know, I just thought it was neat. You guys can let me know what you think in the, in the comments below. And look out. For future videos, we are going to go ahead and create some palettes together. We're going to explore the Daniel Smith watercolors together. We're going to swatch them together. We're going to have fun, you guys. We are going to have fun. That's right. So look for those to come out over the next couple of weeks. It's going to take some time to get them all, all the colors pulled out so that um, I can set up our palettes. <clears throat> my box of tubes is over there on the couch this little dude comes with all different color or all kinds of different little um, designs on him and you can also get more of these like separate and set up several different palettes that you want <coughs> for different things like one for going to the ocean, and one for going to the forest, and maybe one for going to urban areas. And then you can just pop it, them in and out and tuck, the, tuck them in on the fly. Neat, right? I think so. Let me know what you think in the comments below of my little tiny haul. All my, all my colors. And <clears throat> my little palettes. I, I, I'm really liking this. I think this is cute for tucking in my small bag, my tiny bag that when I don't want to carry a bunch of crap. Because this is my wallet. This this is as big as my wallet is. So you add these little things to your little tiny bag and a little postcard set of watercolors at, and you're ready to paint, right? Yeah, so I dig that. All right. What do you want to see first, you guys? What do you want me to open first or set up first? What are you interested in? I'm going to do it all. But, yeah. Yeah, there's all of our stuff. I'm excited. I have fun things. <laughs> the palettes, I am, I am overwhelmed with how big they are and how, it look, like, I'm going to be able to fit a nice globule of paint in there and have plenty of mixing space and I think space to expand my colors as well. This one is going to be my Daniel Smith one. Where shall I put this? I'm thinking down here or right here or down here. I think I think it down here. Na 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 and I might put <clears throat> oh, that's good. Yeah. And then this will be my M. Graham. Exciting. I need an M. Graham sticker now. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to make one. Oh, 
that was fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.